Okay, let me demonstrate what we've learned in this lesson. Here is a blank Word document, and we know that it has never been saved because up here at the top, we still see the default name. This is the name that Microsoft would give this file if you were to save it, and it's called Document 1, and you could have another Document 2 and Document 3, but this just shows me that this has never been saved at all. So let's put a, something in here. Stick my name there, and we'll come over to File. Now, what do I have to think? The, I have a new file. It's never been saved before, but I need to save it. So has it ever been saved before? No. So I have to follow that decision chart, and it goes over and says click on File, and then come down to Save As, and I want to find the location. I want to put it on my computer, so I'm going to click Browse, and come up, and select Desktop, and here is, it's already got the word Jimmy and then .docx, so it's giving me a file name. It's sort of assuming that that's what I want, but I don't want that. I'm going to type my file, my file, and then notice that save as type. It is a Microsoft Word document, docx. If I click this little drop-down arrow, you see there's a lot of other file types to uh, select from. And over the course of the term, you'll be learning what most of these uh, are. You'll see here the when the word 97 to 2003, but it's just plain old .doc, not .docx. And this is the legacy file right here, the legacy file type. For those people who are still using Word 97 all the way up through Word 2003, then they would want to use this format here. But for me and for this class, we are using .docx. And I'm at the desktop up here where I want this to be. So I'm going to click Save. And there the file is saved. And if I look up here at the title bar, rather than just saying Document 1, now I can see a file name, my file dot, and then there's that file extension dot docx. And that file has been saved. I will kill Microsoft Word here and show you that here on my screen there is this file myfile.docx now i have this spreadsheet that i created and this also is on my desktop and it's called sample worksheet and so let's change this a bit and we'll call this uh, how about 17 instead of 7 and there we go 17 plus 3 is 20 and let's say that i want to save this file because i've made a change but I don't want to change the name and I don't want to change the location. So how does the thought process go? Okay, I need to save the file. Has it ever been saved before? Yes, it has. But here's another where I've made some changes. I need to save it again. Do I want to change the name? No. Do I need to change the location in this case? No. So what I could do and what I normally would do would be to just press and hold down the control key and then tap on the S key and then release the control key. So control S would normally be the way I would do this because it's just a lot faster. But I could come up here to the ribbon and click file and then come down to save. I could do it that way. Or you could just come up here to the quick access toolbar right up here in the very upper corner and notice that there's a square icon called save. And if I just click that, then it instantly saves that file. To see that it is saved, remember I changed it from 17 plus, from 7 to 17 plus 3. So I'll just close this. Now I'll go over here and open that file again. There it is. 17 plus 3 is 20. So let's do this. Let's change it now to how about uh, 17 plus how about 13 now. All right, so now we've got 30. Now this time, let's do this. We want to, has this file ever been saved before? Yes. Okay, let's go through that thought process. It has been saved before, but this time let's change the name and let's keep the location the same, but we could do uh, change the location as well. But we're just going to keep the same location, but change the file name. So I have the file. It's been changed. I need to save it with a different name. So I want to come over and I follow that decision chart. I have to go to File not save. If I do save, then it will overwrite uh, the changes that were made on those previous files. So I want to come down to save as, save as. Be sure and follow that flow chart about how to make the decision and what you should do if you need to change the name or location. 
So here is Browse. I'm going to come back to my computer. Here's my computer desktop. This is where I see that sample worksheet. But again, if I just click Save over this same name, I could lose all of my changes. So let's do this. We'll come in here and change this from Sample Worksheet. And uh, let's just change that. And we'll put Demo Worksheet. Okay. Demo Worksheet. And again, I'm not going to type in the XLSX because Excel will put that in there for me. And again, if I click on the file type, I see there's lots of different options for file types. But we're just going to keep that same XLSX and then save it. And then I'll just close Excel. And here you'll see, here is the Demo Worksheet and here is the Sample Worksheet. So I took this original file that had already been saved and I just saved it with a new name and there you go I've got that file saved so these are the steps and the thinking process that you need to go through as you start uh, trying to create and save files